In feudal Japan, samurai lived by a code of honor. The better they lived their life by this code of honor, the more likely they would gain the respect of the daimo. This code was called Bushudo. So in Bushudo, you're trying to uh, collect these virtues to gain the respect and admiration of the daimo that are in play. The virtues that you'll be collecting will be courage, respect, integrity, loyalty, mercy, and honor. And there are several daimos that you will have randomly through the game, and each one has a different requirement for the amount of each of the virtues that they want if they don't want any of any specific type. So let me set up the game and I will show you how it is played. So when you set up the game, you're going to randomly choose three of the daimo to put out. You're going to shuffle the virtue deck and load up the dojo with three of the virtues. You also have your focus tokens here. I'll explain those in just a second. And then you have a set of three D6 standard dice. And I'm just gonna roll them here inside the box lid just to keep them a little bit more organized. But you can use a dice tray or go no tray at all if you want to. So what you're trying to do, as I just said, is collect these virtues to gain the respect and honor of each of the daimo, or one of the daimo, excuse me. So you look at the, each of the daimo, and you'll see that they have a list of symbols on their card saying what kind of virtues they expect you to have. So we look at this first one. So we can look at Kai here, and he wants you to have um, one courage, uh, a respect, he wants four integrity, and he also wants uh, two mercy, which are the purple ones down there. So you see, once you're able to collect those, and then he also has a requirement at the very top written in the non-bold text. If that will focus there. But for this one, uh, the Swordsman Kai also requires a recruit to have no honor. So, for you to collect this daimo, you cannot have any honor in your collection. If you have honor, even if you have all of his required uh, virtues, you will not be able to collect him. So, you have to figure out how to get rid of the honor if you happen to have any. Then, the next one... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because I can't. So she requires one of each of the virtues all the way down. And her special requirement is that she also requires the recruit to guess the top card of the virtue deck. So to be able to get her, you've got to have one of each of the virtues, at least. And then you have to guess what the top card is on here. So you're going to flip it and guess what it is. If you're able to do that, then you're able to collect her. Then we have this mystic guy over here, and he requires you to have four respect, one loyalty, one mercy, and one honor. And his uh, special requirement is that he requires you to have all of the virtues at the start of your turn. So not only do you have to have these, you do have to have one of all of the virtues at the very beginning of your turn, but you also must have this combination, so you do have to have the or four of the respect to get him. Once you're able to meet the requirement of the virtues and the requirement of the specific, specific daimo, you'll be able to go ahead and collect them, and then you will win the game. To be able to collect the virtues, what you're going to do is you're going to have to roll these dice a series of three times, up to three times, and try to get the uh, die symbols that are shown on each of the dies. This mercy requires a five, this honor requires a six and a four, and this respect re requires a two and a six. Some of the virtues just have some flavor text on them, but some, like this honor here, have a ability on them. So once you have a card with an ability on them, you will use that immediately when you collect it. 
So the honor right here says can be used as any virtue. So you can plug that honor into your set and use it as any virtue that you already have. And this respect also has one and it says look and swap this virtue with one of the top three virtues of the virtue deck and shuffle the deck. So you'll be able to collect this respect, but then you're gonna look at the top three here in the deck and then take one of those instead and shuffle this back in. Also, if you look, the Dynamos themselves have some um, dice abilities. So uh, the first one here, Kai, uh, his ability is you add the top virtue of the virtue deck to your collection. And if it does have an ability, you don't uh, proc that ability. Uh, this one right here says look at the top three cards of the deck and return them in any order to the top or bottom of the deck. So her ability is quite useful, especially if you are trying to, to gain her because her requirement is you got to guess the top card. So if you can go ahead and on your turn stack that deck, you can try to go ahead and guess what that card is and you might already have that advanced knowledge. So then there's the mystic here and he says take up to three virtues from all the players collections and deal and randomly deal them to all the players equally. So he will shuffle up what is going on with some of the other uh, players cards. So to go ahead and play the game, you go ahead and select a first player. They're going to take all three of the dice and they're going to roll them. So let's see here, we have two threes and a four. Now you decide where you want to spend them. You must spend at least one or you lose one die. So let's see here, we have a four and threes. Well, do you know what? Let's start getting some honor so I can go ahead and spend a four. I'm gonna just throw it right on that honor saying that's where I'm gonna try to purchase. And then I have my threes that I don't really wanna go anywhere. But I can, use, I can use another roll. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to roll these two again. And now we have a four and a six. That's very convenient because, hey, I need a six for this honor, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then I can roll this last die. So I'm going to roll that up, and I get a one. While well, a one doesn't do me any good, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw away that one. Then you look at where you've spent dice. If you have contributed anything to the Daimos, their ability happens first. Then you'll go to the dojo here. Any card that you have fully contributed the required amount of dice for, you will go ahead and move the dice off and you will collect that card. Then you will refill the dojo. The focus tokens here are gained by a couple different ways. There is one Diamo that I don't have out now that if you contribute the die to his ability you will gain a focus token. If you ever have to refill all three cards at the very end of your turn to the dojo you will get a focus token. Or if on your turn when you roll all three dice you roll triples you will get a focus token. Now the focus tokens can be used to re-roll any one die. So they're really handy to have. So if you're rolling, trying to get something specific, especially like something like this uh, diamond who requires three dice and you don't quite get it, you could spend a focus to re-roll one of them to hopefully get that ability. And if you don't, then you can go ahead and spend them however you want to. There are also some pretty nasty cards in the deck. There are three of these seppuku cards. Now, seppuku cards are basically like poison cards. What you, um, if the seppuku card is here in the dojo and you do roll the required dice that are on there and you collect it, you can give a seppuku card to any player. Now, when that player has a seppuku card in front of them, they are not allowed to contribute any dice to any virtue that are in the dojo. So it really prevents them from being able to collect the stuff that they need to be able to play the game. But there is a way to get rid of seppuku. If meditation comes out, you can try to collect the meditation card. 
Now the meditation card can destroy any seppuku card. So if you have a seppuku in your collection, you can get rid of that. Or if you see a seppuku card out there and you don't want um, somebody to give it to you, you can use meditation to get rid of that card. Also, if you don't have a seppuku card, you can also reuse the meditation to re-roll up to three dice. So that is very, very convenient to have that meditation ability available to you. And then, as I said, the way you win the game is by collecting the virtues to get the Dymo. And once you have all the requirements, you're able to collect them, and then you will be the winner of the game. This is an excellent, excellent small game to have in your collection. Uh, it plays very quickly, so this is a great game to play in between larger games. Uh, this is also something that's great to play in small spaces. So if you're at the laundromat, if you're on a plane, um, this doesn't, doesn't take up much space. I've actually played this on my couch. The first time I played it, I played it on the couch. And I, just, I just used the box as a dice tray. So it was pretty easy to play with not a lot of room. So definitely check this out on Kickstarter. I really do recommend this. Uh, the artwork in it is, is very, very nice. The, the Dymos have some really nice artwork and everything is, is bright and colorful. Uh, one thing I also look out for in games is uh, seeing if this is like color dependent. Um, and it is not because all of the different um, virtues have different symbols on them. So you don't really have to worry about the color. So if you do have any colorblind issues, that's something that you don't have to worry about with this game. Um, I'm not colorblind myself. I don't really know anybody that is. It's just something that I know that a lot of people bring up in the hobby. And it's something that I always look out for, especially now that I'm part of, you know, showing off these games and trying to make you guys want to uh, back them. But definitely check out Bushido. It'll be on Kickstarter very, very soon. Link will be down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to share, like, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Meeple. My subscribe button is right down there. My support link is right over there. Thanks. Let's try that whole thing again.